So I use um, Winsor & Newton watercolors out of the tube, the professional colors. And as you see, I make a big mess. I'll tell you, this palette is the cleanest it's been in a really long time. Because <laughs> when I was packing up my stuff today, I said, let's clean this up a little bit, you know? So we're not quite as much of an embarrassment. But um, I make a big mess with everything. And I do a lot of uh, <laughs> color blending. I started doing that because people ask me a lot of questions about that sort of stuff. this Payne's gray. It's sort of my base color for a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Is there yeah, like a, a color theme that you use? I, I tend to end up using yellow. similar stuff a lot. And like yellow, I there's yellow. The, colors. the yellow, I, I'm still doing this business with this glowing light, I you know, know, and it just, I just keep doing that with everything. So there's always some yellow. I try to I've been trying to force myself to limit the color sometimes. Some of the, the stuff that's a little older in here is brighter, and some of the more recent things are a little bit more muted. Like these were all done um, less than a year ago. And I said that was specifically because we had that blue room. Um, so, but it was also it was an interesting challenge because I tried to just keep it a little bit more limited, a little more muted, and see how I could still use color as an impact. And I particularly did that in this one painting right there, which is called Glowing Ember, which is the sky that's like this. And the idea with that, once again, this was all for this sort of dark contemplation room. And so this figure is just very, very down and out. He's really down. It's like, you know, he's almost given up. But I call it Glowing Ember because there's that one warm spot that's right here. So he's not quite gone yet. There's still hope, you know, that he can get it back together. See, I do a lot of stuff with cool against warm. And uh, the idea of, like, heat rising, or your internal energy rising, you know, things of that nature. Um, so, anyway. When you did the torso out there, did you work, do you work with a model? It's from a photograph. photograph. It's from a photograph? Yeah, yeah. Um, I did some stuff painting live. I mean, the, that Mila one, I think is the name of it, the one that was the first by the door there, that was done live mm -hmm. with a model. And a few of these other ones, I think this one was too. Um, with a dance group, because sometimes I would, would, you know, join with them at their events and, like, you know, paint live during the intermission and stuff. Um, but as you say, it's all done quickly, but then it's like, then, then you're under the pressure, because you're looking at the, the, the live person. But I'm going to sort of try to show the approach a little bit of how I do these figures. I have a certain, like, system I use, but just as far as um, just, like, basic movement of paint, I tend to use this size brush a lot. And sometimes that surprises people because they usually use, they think you should use smaller brushes with watercolor. I do this one a lot because this allows you to do, you know, little shapes and big shapes and it holds somewhat water. I mean, this is one I got in Europe, you know, which holds a ton. It's like a mop, like bigger stuff. And I use this a lot in the, in the, in the big paintings. Um, and then this one is a pretty good, you know, so what go to is, as well. What is that brush? This is a, a one. But it's a, I mean, what kind of the Windsor and, Oh God, it's cheap. I know that much. I got this in college. <laughs> it was like in the in the like starter set, you know, that you go buy at the university store. These are the That's things funny. you need for the class. So I mean, it's not it's not fine quality. I'm sure that, but it's managed to last all this time. So um, this one, I don't know what this is. I'm afraid to ask. Actually, it's probably from some see. animal that will make me sad. But it's, it's from France. Um, Usually, that's our school. I have to see. I yeah, I think I think I don't want to ask too many questions. <laughs> this one we can ask about though. Yeah. This is synthetic, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, just with the basic movement of the paint and stuff, um, I will usually kind of mix a couple colors, and we'll just do um, some of this 